The purpose of this module is to give you a basic understanding about Adobe Animate CC. This module covers the following concepts. Getting started with Animate CC. Drawing modes in Animate CC. Selection tools. Adobe Animate CC is a software package that is used for creating interactive graphics and animation. Animate CC has been designed to work seamlessly with the other Adobe software like Photoshop and Dreamweaver. You can use Adobe Animate CC to create drawings and animations suitable for use in web pages, apps, and various standalone applications. Getting started with Animate CC. You can follow these steps to start Adobe Animate CC 2018. Click Start and then click Adobe Animate CC. The opening screen appears. It shows three panes. Open Recent Item, Create New, and Introduction. In the Create New list, click Action Script 3.0. The Animate CC window appears. The main components of the Animate CC window include Pasteboard. The dark gray area outside the stage is called the pasteboard. It is a hidden area. Stage. It is the white area in the center of the screen. It is the place where graphics, text, and video clips are placed to create the movie. Timeline. It is used to set sequence of content in the movie. It is divided into frames. You can also create layers in the timeline. Properties panel. It displays the properties of the selected object. Tools panel. It helps to create, modify graphics and text. Tools panel. The Tools panel is located on the far right of the window. It has tools to create or modify drawings and text. You select a tool by clicking it. Some tools have a small triangle at the bottom right corner. On clicking it, a pop-up menu appears with more related tools. When you select a tool, tool modifiers appear at the bottom of the Tools panel. These are used to set relevant tool options. The Tools panel is divided into four areas. Tools area that contains selection, drawing, and painting tools. View area that contains zooming tools. Colors area that contains tools for changing colors. And Options area that contains modifiers for the currently selected tool. The hand tool is used for dragging an object. The magnifier or zoom tool has two options, enlarge or zoom in, which allows you to view the drawing up close and reduce or zoom out, which pulls you away from the drawing by showing it at lower magnification. The property panel. Anything you add to an Animate CC document is called an object. The Properties panel is the panel that displays the properties of the selected object. An object could be the stage, text, image, line, or shape. The list of properties displayed in this panel will vary according to the object selected. For example, if you select the Line tool, the properties displayed will be color, line thickness, and line style. You can view and change the properties as you work. If you do not see the properties panel in the Animate CC window, you can get it by selecting Window and then clicking Properties. The properties panel will become visible at the right of the screen. Grid 
grid is a system of intersecting horizontal and vertical lines on the stage. By default, grid lines are not visible. The grid is helpful while creating graphics. It helps you to place and align objects at particular positions on the stage. You can change the size of the grid squares to suit your drawing. To display the grid, click View, then click Grid, and then click Show Grid. Using Rulers The Animate CC window can display rulers on the top and left sides of the stage. To show or hide rulers, click View and then click Rulers. The default unit for the ruler is pixels, which can be changed by selecting Modify and then Document. You have the option of using inches, decimal inches, points, centimeters, or millimeters in addition to pixels. Creating a new Animate CC document. The steps to create a new Animate CC document are Select File and then select New. The New Document dialog box is displayed. Select Action Script 3.0 in the Type list and click the OK button. Setting Document Properties when a new document is created, it opens with the default settings of the movie properties. You can modify the movie properties by selecting Modify and then Document. The Document Settings dialog box is displayed. Saving an Animate CC Document The steps to save an Animate CC Document are Select File and then Save As. The Save As dialog box appears. Select the drive and folder where you want to save your file. Type the file name in the File Name box. Click the Save button. The file is saved with a .fla extension. Opening an Animate CC document. The steps to open an already saved Animate CC document are Select File and then Open. The Open dialog box appears. Select the drive and the folder. Select the file. Click the Open button. Drawing modes in Animate CC. A shape in Animate CC consists of a stroke or outline and a fill inside it. The stroke and the fill can be of different colors. They are considered separate objects and can be selected separately or together. By default, the object drawing mode is off. In this mode, if you overlap two shapes, they merge together. The covered area of the bottom object is erased. When the object drawing mode is turned on, the shapes are drawn as separate objects. Shapes do not merge together when you overlap each other. You can move them apart without altering their appearance. You can use the pointer tool to move the object. To turn on the object drawing mode, click the object drawing mode icon in the properties panel. Selection Tools The Selection, Arrow Tool, and the Lasso Tool can be used to select single or multiple objects. Let us discuss how these tools can be used in Animate CC. The Selection Tool is used to select single or multiple objects available on the stage. Click the Selection Tool in the Tools panel and then follow the instructions given in the following table
Lasso Tool. The Lasso Tool is used to select irregular areas in a drawing. It is used for free hand selection, in which you move the mouse just as you would move a pencil. Follow these steps to use the Lasso Tool. Select the Lasso Tool. Drag the cursor on the stage to specify the boundary of the selection. End the selection approximately near the point where you started. Polygon Tool To create a straight edge selection area using the Lasso Tool, select the Lasso Tool. Click the small triangle at the bottom right corner of the Lasso Tool and select the Polygon Tool. Click on the stage to set the starting point. Click at the point where you want the first line to end. Continue setting endpoints for other line segments. Double click to close the selection area. Now, let us do an activity. To do this activity, you need to create a new Animate CC document. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this activity.